This is Alan Bush with Archer Financial Services. As usual, we're going to start off with the stock index futures. Seeing some gains in the overnight trade, this linked to ideas that the European Central Bank, when they meet next week, may have some ideas or potential solutions to the financial crisis in the Eurozone. Since then, though, we have seen some pressure developing. This linked to some negative economic reports uh, here in the U.S., including jobless claims that did come in up uh, 10,000 to 383,000. Uh, also, we did have the Chicago Purchasing Managers Index coming in, in a bit on the weak side. GDP about as expected up 1.9%, but consumption up only 2.7%, the guess up 2.9%. So we are seeing uh, futures moving from higher on the day to lower on the day. The Eurozone situation remains a negative, but we do have a very important positive in this market, and that is uh, prospects of easier credit from one or more central banks, including the Fed, possibly the Bundesbank. So I think that will limit declines in stock index futures. In fact, I think we will see a recovery this morning in, in stock index futures from these lower levels. Over in the currencies, we did see the euro currency making a new 23-month low before some recovery on a, a better tone to the European debt situation, just with the uh, possibility of, of some, some better news from the European Central Bank as far as a potential plan. I think anything that they do is likely to only have a temporary bullish impact the main trend on the euro currency is still lower. I think we will be soon testing the 120 level. And my feeling is that this market will not turn around for uh, many months now. So look for a trend toward lower prices into the fall at least, possibly into next year in the euro currency. Continue to trade from the short side there. Also in the Commodity currencies, the Australian dollar and the Canadian, these prices is uh, a little bit better today, along with a somewhat better tone to the Eurozone situation. But I think that uh, is likely to be a temporary situation. Expect further pressure longer term in the Australian dollar and the Canadian with losses most likely led by the Australian dollar with their proximity to China and the weakening economy there. And this is a long-term outlook. So those two currencies look lower, continue to trade from the short side there. Credit markets higher again, new highs for the move. Uh, the the long, longer data treasuries uh, looking very bullish on the charts, new breakouts to the upside. All of this linked to a flight to quality influence in light of what's happening in the Eurozone. So nothing changing there. We remain bullish on the credit markets, and this is a trend that is likely to last for several months at the minimum. Once again, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland. Have a good tr trading day. Thank you.